The Hubble Space Telescope represents the technical progress that has enabled us to raise our knowledge of the universe to a completely new level. Launched in April 1990, the telescope, named after U.S. astronomer Edwin Hubble, has been observing space for more than three decades. Weighing 11.6 tons and measuring about 40 feet in length, the Space Telescope works in the electromagnetic spectrum, scouring the gigantic expanse of the cosmos from the infrared range through visible light to the ultraviolet range. A look at the countless galaxies, celestial bodies, and structures that have been added to the star maps with the help of Hubble proves that the original mission goals of the ambitious project have been achieved with flying colors. Today, we'd like to share with you a glimpse of some of the breathtaking discoveries and images that we owe to the Hubble Space Telescope. Want to join us on our journey to the most groundbreaking discoveries and the greatest mysteries of space? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. Show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you excited with the content of our posts. Orion Nebula. Sometimes, just a quick glance is enough to make us realize the breathtaking beauty of the universe. Consider the high-resolution images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope of one of the most active star-forming regions in our galactic neighborhood, the fascinating Orion Nebula. Located about 1,350 light-years from our blue home planet, the structure in the eponymous constellation of Orion represents a popular object of research. For those scientists who want to learn more about the birth of celestial bodies, the images of the nebula, which are a composite of several detailed Hubble images, allow experts to get a closer look than ever at the region in question. The so-called main ionization source of the Orion Nebula is a star that exceeds the luminosity of our Sun by a factor of 200,000, making it one of the brightest celestial bodies known. Pillars of Creation the images of the so-called Pillars of Creation, a formation 7,000 light-years away in the Eagle Nebula, also demonstrate the unparalleled detail of the Hubble Space Telescope. Captured on image on April 1, 1995, the total image is composed of over 30 individual photographs. The false colors we see in the images of this breathtaking structure represent the different molecular compositions of the structures. Blue stands for oxygen, green for hydrogen, and red for sulfur. In detail, these cosmic pillars, which extend four light years into space, consist of interstellar matter. New protostars are born in their bubbles, which are composed of dust and molecular oxygen. To get an idea of the scale of the construct, it's worth looking at the small, finger-shaped bulges at the top of the largest column, each of which is slightly larger than our home solar system. Planetary Nebulae Whether it's the Cat's Eye Nebula in the constellation Dragon, the Ant Nebula in the constellation Protractor, or the Butterfly Nebula in the constellation Serpent Bearer, the use of the Hubble Space Telescope shows just how complex and multi-layered the various structures in the universe really are. But beware, despite their official designation, these breathtaking nebular structures have nothing to do with planets. Because the structures often appear spherical when viewed through a telescope, in the past, they were often mistaken for distant gas planets. In reality, however, the envelope of a planetary nebula is composed of gas and plasma, while its center is graced by an old star at the end of its evolution. In the process, the most massive stars detonate in the form of a massive supernova. In the course of these gigantic explosions, stellar debris is hurled into the vastness of space, from which new generations of the dazzlingly bright celestial bodies are ultimately born. Before the mission of the Hubble Space Telescope, many details of these exciting processes remained hidden from terrestrial researchers. Hubble Ultra Deep Field the stunning image, called Hubble Ultra Deep Field, not only presents us with the overwhelming diversity of the cosmos, but also gives us an authentic glimpse into the past. The small, reddish, shimmering galaxies in this image are the most distant galaxies known. In accordance with the Big Bang Theory, the corresponding galaxies on the Hubble Ultra Deep Field thus present themselves in those stages in which they were just 800 million years after the birth of the universe. As exuberant as the image, which was taken between September 3rd, 2000, 
2003, and January 16, 2004, undoubtedly appears. It actually represents only a vanishingly small fraction of the entire sky. In fact, the 10,000 galaxies and objects captured there reflect no more than 1 40 millionth of the entire sky. Black Holes and Galaxies we now know that virtually every galaxy center is graced by a massive black hole, a scientific thesis for which the Hubble Space Telescope should ultimately provide the decisive proof. How enormous the gravity monsters are that hide in the hearts of galaxies becomes clear to us if we take a look at the object which is in the heart of the galaxy M87. The corresponding black hole has 2.6 billion times the mass of our Sun. The in-depth study of alien galaxies also yielded important insights into how bound collections of celestial bodies, gas nebulae, dust clouds, and other astronomical objects interact. The Hubble images, which show how two galaxies merge with each other, give us a kind of foresight into our own fate. In about a billion years, our Milky Way will collide with the neighboring Andromeda Galaxy. The fact that the complex equipment was able to detect and study many previously unknown galaxies is in turn due to the so-called gravitational lensing effect. In the world of astronomy, this refers to the deflection of light by large masses. Basically, the light from a distant source is affected by an object in front of it, the gravitational lens. In simple words, the distant entities and structures are optically magnified for the observer by the influence of gravity. Shoemaker Levy 9 The Hubble Space Telescope not only succeeded in detecting countless previously unknown galaxies and exoplanets, but also documented several cases that prove just how powerful the forces are that act in our home planetary system. These include the comet named Shoemaker Levy 9, whose debris plunged into mighty Jupiter in 1994. As the corresponding fragments slammed into the largest planet in the solar system, they chased through space at a speed of 36 miles per second. The collision was so violent that it released the energy of 50 million Hiroshima bombs. In fact, this was the first time in research history that the collision of two celestial bodies in the solar system and the consequences of the impact could be directly observed. Alien Worlds one of the overarching mission goals of the Hubble Space Telescope was to detect new exoplanets. As the name of these extrasolar celestial bodies suggests, they are planets that are located outside our solar system and are gravitationally bound to another star. How much the processes of these alien worlds differ from the spectacles known to us also becomes clear when we look at the planet HD 209458b which is unofficially also known as Osiris. Thus, the planet in the constellation Pegasus orbits its sun-like parent star at an average distance of just 4.5 million miles. Consequently, the extrasolar celestial body needs less than four days to completely orbit its central star. The average temperature prevailing on Osiris is estimated to be a scorching 1,341 degrees Fahrenheit due to the small distance between planet and host star. The spatial constellation also causes the exoplanet's atmosphere to practically evaporate, forming a comet-like tail that trails about 120 miles behind Osiris. In detail, the extreme temperatures cause the planet to lose about 500,000 tons of hydrogen to the surrounding space within a single second. In this way, the celestial body has probably already lost 7% of its original mass. The processes that regularly take place on HD 189-733 are no less impressive. Discovered in 2005, NASA announced eight years later that Hubble had succeeded for the first time in determining the actual color of an exoplanet. As we can easily see on the corresponding images, the celestial body shimmers in a deep blue hue. But anyone who thinks that this is a full-blown ocean world is seriously mistaken. The planet's characteristic coloration is not due to gigantic accumulations of liquid water, but is created by the light reflections of thousands and thousands of glass particles. The microscopic particles chase incessantly through the upper atmospheric layers of the planet, where they reach speeds of up to 4,500 miles per hour. But the celestial body in the constellation of the Fox also tends to extremes in terms of its surface temperature. This is given as a value of more than 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the incomparable images and discoveries that the Hubble Space Telescope gave us during its mission? Drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting videos on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other contributions on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.